Friends, Patriots, Nick Adams here. Today I wanna to talk about Joe Biden and the consequences for not just the United States of America, but for the entire world. Joe Biden has had a very, very, very bad couple of weeks. First of all, there was him falling down the stairs, tripping over his own feet multiple times as he sought to board Air Force One. Then we had the absolutely abysmal press conference that any CEO of any company would have been immediately fired for after such a performance. Joe Biden was incoherent. He struggled to put together a sentence. He was absolutely and totally useless. Not only that, he had a long time to prepare and he needed to have all of the photos of the 10 hand-picked so-called journalists so that he could identify them and at least feign that he had some kind of memory recall. Truly, truly sad. As we look around the world, the rest of the world is beginning to adjust to this new reality that was foisted upon us in late January with a new administration. And they're starting to see that America is not the America of the last four years, that America in many ways is a pushover, that America in many ways is a light touch, and we're being taken advantage of. We see what's happening in North Korea. We see what's happening in the China Sea. We see our friends starting to worry about us and question our commitment to different things. You see, here's what's really important. What is good for America is good for the world. When America is strong, the world is strong. When America is weak, the world is a weak and dangerous place. That's just the reality. That's just how it goes. With the world goes America. The world's fortunes travel with the United States of America. And that's why when we have a poor president, when we have a weak president, when we have a feckless president that can't climb steps or remember people's names, all of a sudden we have people like Vladimir Putin challenging the leader of the free world to a debate. Joe Biden is being challenged by Vladimir Putin to a debate. This is what we're seeing unfold in the greatest country in the history of the world. It is a travesty, it is a tragedy, it is outrageous, and I've got to tell you, it is very, very worrying. We need our president to be strong. We need our president to be respected. Right now, that's not happening. Goodbye, good luck, God bless America.